All right, so in this video, we're gonna test Windows Defender against some of the latest InfoStealer malware out there. So we have a script on the desktop, as you can see, called party appropriately, which we're going to run. And what this is going to do is this is going to download the top 100 info stealers reported in the last 24 hours. So as I hit enter, this computer is going to download some of the most nefarious malware that's going to hack your social media accounts in seconds if you run it. And we're going to see if the default protection of Windows Microsoft Defender can stop it. So let the party begin. As you can see, we have a folder on the desktop now, and uh, we have some reports here of malware being downloaded. I'm also going to open this folder and we'll scroll through it to give Windows Defender a chance. As you can see, it says threats found. So it is going to start detecting and removing, hopefully some of them at least, and we'll see what the detection rate is at the end of it. Ooh, interestingly, it looks like we have some backdoors. Um, this is like the ransomware picture that Windows likes to use. The dog with the chain. We're having a great party, as you can see. Our entire notification section is filled up with alerts. We've got remote access tools, info stealers, backdoors. And this really is the most popular malware today. So if you look at malware that affects consumers and home users, info stealers are by far the most popular and prevalent. So top is luma stealer you've also got redline not too far behind and what this malware does is basically steals your session token so if you're logged into a website like youtube or google or your bank account they can steal the information your computer has that tells it that you are logged in and then the attacker can log in as you they don't need anything they can just log into your account sell it on the dark web use it as part of a botnet sometimes they won't even change your password and all it takes is a couple seconds so if we were to go into this folder, double click one of these things, nothing would really happen. You wouldn't really know that you've been infected by malware, but in the background, there'd be a Python script that would have sent all of your data to the attacker server and they would get a notification saying, hey, somebody just gave you this nice dump of data. And then maybe a month later, suddenly you see you can't log into your Google account, you can't log into your wallet, Instagram, and then you panic. But fear not, Windows Defender did block quite a few of these. Um, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer and we'll see what truly happens. We're going to start actions on everything in here. So we wanna make sure it has the best possible chance. It seems like it wants us to restart the computer to remove some of these items. So I'll go ahead and do that as well. Why not? And we're back and it looks like Windows is happy. No more threats, but let's open the folder again just to be sure. Oh, still finding stuff. So I'll leave it open. One of the things I dislike about Windows Defender is just the way it works. As you can see, it's very inconvenient. So if you are getting hit by malware, it's very hard to know what's happening. I'm not sure how it works behind the scenes, but at least the way I see it as a user doesn't fill me up with a lot of confidence because it's taking way too long. There's not a lot of clarity in terms of what is malware and what is not. And now um, it seems we have a nice check mark. So everything that it did detect, it has removed and we're getting no further detections and we still have 22 items in this folder. Now, normally what I would do is I would run these files and then we would look for traces in the system to see if Windows Defender fails to protect us. But because these are info stealers, that doesn't work. So we have to do what I call a pure detection test. So we're going to use some other products to scan this folder and we'll see if they detect something Windows Defender did not. And the reason for that is even if we did run one of these files, we wouldn't be able to know if it took our data or not. Because info stealers don't necessarily leave any traces on the system. They could just send your data, hack your account, and completely disappear without a trace. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna run some scanners. So I'm gonna start off with um, Hitman Pro. This is mostly Sophos and Bitdefender, the two engines running it. And they are pretty reliable industry vendors and indicators and good things to compare Windows Defender against. So let's see if they detect anything more. And of course, we are seeing some detections. Now, meanwhile, I also want to run Norton PowerRazor. 
This is another reputation-based scanning tool. A little bit different from how the other AVs function, but uh, it's worth checking out regardless. I'm just going to do a simple scan of the folder to save time. And we're also going to use MCSoft Emergency Kit. A uh, very good tool to use for this kind of task because MCSoft is known to have really good detection and they're based off of the Bitdefender engine as well. They have their own engine, but they also have Bitdefender's engine. And Bitdefender, of course, has a good track record with detection. So it's a good benchmark. All right, our scans are done and let's look at the results. So Norton detects the whole folder, but inside the folder it detects one, two, three, four, five. Oh my God, it seems like it detects all of them. <laughs> That's not a surprise though, because you have to remember this is not necessarily a pure signature detection. It's also based on reputation. So of course the info stealers would not have a great reputation and it has flagged pretty much everything in the folder as potential malware. Now, for those of you who like percentages, I also want to point out 22 items gone. So if we were to consider all of these as true malware samples, which they most likely are. Of course, there might be a few there, PUP or whatever. We're talking about a detection of 78% by Windows Defender. Now, if we look at Hitman Pro, it detects uh, three items out of these besides uh, the tracking cookies. And if we take a look at the detections, they are all from both Bitdefender and Sophos, these two Sophos only. If we take a look at um, MCSoft emergency kit. We have uh, three detections. So depending on how you want to cut it, you can say Windows Defender failed to block 22 items or three items or however many. It is also worth noting that Windows Defender was on the system when these files were being downloaded, whereas the second opinion scanners were not. So they're doing more of a static analysis. So you would expect um, more detection from the product that's on the system because it can look at the websites, it can understand where the file's coming from and all that. So 22 items is actually quite a lot. I was expecting this to be in the single digits, but now you know. So that's how effective Windows Defender is at uh, detecting info stealers. Let me know how you feel about the results. Are you happy with the overall detection? Are you a little bit disappointed? Were you expecting more? How susceptible do you think this makes the average user to an info stealer they get on Discord or run into online if they're trying to crack a game or whatever? Because today most people do rely on Windows Defender because because it's pre-built, comes with the system. And I'm gonna be honest, a lot of the antivirus companies are super annoying to deal with anyway. So people just stick to Windows Defender. At least I think when I did a survey, about 60% of my audience does not use any other antivirus and uses this. Now I know there are some tweaks you could do to improve the detection. And actually I do have all of them pretty much turned on for this test. So we do have things like uh, potentially unwanted app blocking. So we do have some of the reputation features turned on for this, but you might be able to go into GP edit um, and make some further changes in administrative templates. So if you go into Windows components, Microsoft Defender antivirus, you have components like maps, the block at first sight feature, and you can enable this to improve your detection a little bit. But in my opinion, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. I've never really seen any of these features boost Windows Defender's capabilities massively. Usually when uh, some critical malware manages to go through and run, it's because the monitoring just isn't there, not because some rule wasn't enabled. But there you go. That's uh, Windows Defender versus the top 100 info stealers. Please like and share this video if you enjoyed it. I really hope you did. Let me know if you'd like to see more tests like this in the future. Make suggestions in the comments. Also, a big shout out to Internext, the sponsor of this video, a privacy focused cloud storage platform where you can store all of your data, large volumes of it, without being a victim of the monthly subscription descriptions of Microsoft or Apple or whatever else. You can store it in files and folders, as you can see here. Very simple and easy to use UI, or you can back up your whole system with their client. You can also share or send whatever files you want without anybody monitoring. As you can see, we have two terabytes of data here, and this is for a lifetime, and that's the big difference. Not only are we not being tracked or advertised to, this data is yours forever. And you can get a lifetime plan for yourself right now using the link in description 
description by going to internext.com slash lifetime special. And what's more, once you select your plan, you can get an 82% discount using the coupon code PC security. So as you can see, we type this in and boom, 82% off right away. Now remember, this is a one-time cost. So you're not paying monthly as you would with most cloud storage providers. They've been a sponsor before. They got me a lifetime plan. Years in, it's still running. It's definitely something worth checking out. 30 day money back guarantee in case you change your mind. So give them a shot using link in description and don't forget the code PC security. And thank you all so much for watching. This is Leo and as always, stay informed, stay secure.